Hi, and welcome back to The Class Must Go On. This week is all about adaptation. Let's take a look at how some of our students are making the best of this new situation. Hi, I'm Cece. I'll be telling you guys about Tony's class stage makeup today. So adapting from the classroom and home has been difficult, but also creative. How I've learned to adapt is I take a mirror and I face it my way and I make sure there's natural light. I think I've made it work. You'll see some few pictures and clips of me putting on makeup. Last week, um, the females put on male makeup and I think it went excellent. So I think adapting has been difficult, but it's worked. It's not impossible. Basically, my daily schedule is zooming and I hear the lecture and I hear how to apply the makeup. And then on Tuesday, which is today, I would apply the makeup and I will finish a sheet. This is the makeup sheet. Uh, we have to do before we apply our makeup. So basically this is what we're wearing, what highlight, what shadows, and then description. Um, basically the whole point of this is if I give this to someone else, they would be able to look at this and apply the makeup without needing me and instructions from me verbally. They just need to read this paper. It's been a little weird and I think it also interesting. Basically I was so used to having him in a classroom you know, telling me what I'm doing wrong on my face, what needs more blending in, what needs more shadow. But now that I'm here, I mean, the same at the same time, like when I'm online with him, he'll tell me, like, you know, this is too blended. But so I can do an exaggerated, like, all the way from here down there. Just make it nice and square. Okay. Make it make it a shape like this. Okay. Don't don't do too much of that. Right? Keep that little Straight. end up. Don't let it come in. Okay. Like along that jaw, make it nice and square. Yep. Even though some things have changed, we're still making the best of our learning experience. Next, we're going to talk to Professor Ivan Lopez about how his modern dramatic lit class is changing due to remote learning. Adapting is all about realizing that there are certain circumstances you can't change and then opening yourself up to new and creative possibilities and just getting it done. I teach a modern dramatic literature class, which is where our students read some of the most important plays in the American theater, and we get into lively discussions about the plays. And the, uh, one of the main learning objectives of the class is for students to really understand that their own point of view of what they're reading is important. And developing that point of view and then having confidence in sharing that point of view, which is essential for any theater artist. And so we get into some lively discussions about the things that we're reading. This past week, we were reading Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge. I wanna ask you what, what this change does to Eddie as a character. In the first version of this play, Eddie dies in Catherine's arms. In, in this version of the play, Eddie dies in B's arms. How does this change Eddie's character feel? Danny? It's like, oh, that's a good thing. It's like where his love lies, like where he thinks, like, like the true place where he wants to be, it would change and it would make him like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Morgan? I think it's like, it makes him a lot less sympathetic if he dies in Catherine's arms. If he dies in B's arms, it's like a husband and wife kind of, you know, I just, if he dies in Catherine's arms, I'm like, really? Yeah. Really? Uh, anyone have anything that's a little different than the two views that have been shared right now? Uh, Rachel? Um, it's like he doesn't repent. So in Oedipus, he stabs his own eyes out at the end of the play. If Oedipus doesn't do that and like walks around, there's a sense of repentance that isn't there if he dies in Catherine's arms that he does for B. It's like, I'm sorry, you know, I've done all these things. I've destroyed these lives at this point. Yeah, yeah. Does it in Catherine's arms, there is no sorry. He, Cause in the end he dies kind of when he wants. He's with Catherine and it makes that whole relationship saying he has too much love versus like an awkward like he doesn't understand it where he everything he does is intentional now one thing i will say is that i definitely miss the human interaction that happens in those classes um, the theater is a very small department everybody knows everybody and so every time you walk into that classroom there's a nice sense of familiarity and um 
it's not the same, but online we have kind of been able to replicate a little bit of that. And in these times where we're all stuck inside and uh, socially distancing and isolating, it's nice to see some familiar faces. While it's different and not ideal, our students are still doing their best to explore themselves and their work from home. Let's talk to Shadia about how she's adapted her workspace to make her classes work. So I had originally a setup for my room and I got used to it. I was comfortable with it. I liked it, whatever. And then Liz Leanne asked us to stand up for class and I thought, oh, stand? Like, like I need space? I need to do things. Um, sure, we'll make it work. I couldn't make it work. <laughs> I couldn't make it work. So I had to find another way to move my room around, move some things around, rearrange stuff so that I could have a class. So this is how my setup looks now. And I actually have, you know, space to walk through. And I can be far back and you can still see me. And this is my laptop where I do my Zoom classes my makeup stand and under my laptop is my Freeing the Natural Voice by Kristen Linklater, um, a happiness self-help book that I got for Christmas and a box full of jewelry so that it can, you know, keep me at eye level as close as possible and so that I can be sitting while doing this or I can be standing. Um, I just wanted to share that this is part of the adapting process. This is a process. It's not just, well, let me try this and hopefully it works and that's all I'm going to do. It's, I'm going to try this, see if it works. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't work. Find a way to make things work. Find a way to just move things here and there. Change is good. And we have to be able to change with the times and times are changing fast. So I just want to let you guys know that it'll be okay will make things work. A big takeaway from this week's episode is that willpower is the key to accepting growth. You have to make the best of whatever's thrown your way and take ownership of your growth. To everyone out there navigating through these challenges, keep making it happen. Until next time.